Hey guys, let's get more news about Steelers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Steelers reunite OC Arthur Smith with veteran TE, report. The Pittsburgh Steelers have drafted a tight end each of the past three years. All three of them are still on the roster. But ESPN's Jeremy Fowler reported the Steelers added another tight end very familiar with new offensive coordinator Arthur Smith, veteran Michael Pruitt. Tight end Michael Pruitt has agreed to terms with the Steelers, per source, Fowler wrote. Reunited with Arthur Smith from their Tennessee and Atlanta days. Smith was first Pruitt's tight ends coach with the Tennessee Titans in 2018. He was then Pruitt's offensive coordinator in Tennessee from 2019 to 20. Pruitt also played for Smith from 2022 to 23 with the Atlanta Falcons. In 2023, Pruitt had nine catches for 110 yards. He also had one touchdown while playing 402 offensive snaps. Pittsburgh hasn't addressed tight end in free agency in quite some time. Instead, the Steelers have turned to the draft in recent years for tight end depth. They chose Pat Fryermuth in 2021, Connor Hayward during the 2022 draft and Darnell Washington last year. Pruitt will arrive in Pittsburgh as the most experienced player in the tight end room. Pruitt began his career as a fifth-round pick in the 2015 NFL Draft for the Minnesota Vikings. He spent the first season and a half of his career in Minnesota before the Vikings waived him in November 2016. After a stint on the team's practice squad, the Vikings then released Pruitt. He finished the 2016 season with the Chicago Bears. In 2017, he played for the Houston Texans. Through his first three seasons, Pruitt had 12 catches for 102 yards. Pruitt nearly matched those totals in his first season under Smith's tutelage. In 2018, he had nine catches for 102 yards and one touchdown. Even in Smith's offense, Pruitt has never eclipsed 150 receiving yards in a single season. But he's proven to solid blocker and an occasional red zone target. Of Pruitt's 39 catches over the past three seasons, eight of them were touchdowns. Pruitt is particularly strong in pass protection as a blocker. He has earned a pass blocking grade at Pro Football Focus of at least 62, out of 100, each of the past three years. Pruitt has also contributed on special teams. He has averaged 122 special team snaps per season since 2018. With Pruitt's arrival, the Steelers now have five tight ends on the 90-man roster. In addition to Fryermuth, Hayward and Washington, the Steelers also have 2023 undrafted free agent Rodney Williams under contract. Williams didn't have a target while playing 55 offensive snaps last season. He made six combined tackles on 189 special team snaps. Fryer Muth led the Steelers in all receiving categories during the 2023 season. But he only had 32 catches for 308 yards and two touchdowns. Fryer Muth missed five contests because of multiple injuries, including a significant hamstring issue. Hayward and Washington weren't very involved in Pittsburgh's offense either, despite Fryer Muth missing time. Hayward had 167 receiving yards while Washington posted 61. How much the Steelers involve their tight ends, however, should change dramatically under Smith. With Smith calling plays last season for the Falcons, two of Atlanta's top three pass catchers were tight ends. In Smith's first season in Atlanta, tight end Kyle Pitts led the Falcons with 68 catches and 1,026 receiving yards. Pruitt isn't guaranteed to make Pittsburgh's roster, but he should be able to help the other Steelers' tight ends learn Smith's offense. Saints to sign LB Kalik Hudson A special team's mainstay in Washington, Kalik Hudson enjoyed his biggest opportunity on defense last season. This will lead to another opportunity. With the commanders retooling in Dan Quinn's first offseason, one that has brought many of the new HC's former charges to Washington, Hudson will leave for a chance with the Saints. 
New Orleans is adding the veteran linebacker on a one-year deal, NFL.com's Mike Garafalo tweets. This agreement comes not long after Hudson visited the Steelers. It is not known if the Steelers, who have another ex-Washington linebacker, Cole Holcomb, on their payroll, extended an offer, but Hudson will end up in the NFC South. The Saints are adding a veteran special teamer and a player who logged eight starts in 2023. Hudson, 26, is a Michigan alum who started just four games during his first three seasons. The former fifth-round pick played at least 77% of Washington's ST snaps in each of those years but moved into the starting lineup in the Ron Rivera, Jack Del Rio tandem's final season. Although this opportunity came for a team careening into last place defensively, Hudson made 74 tackles, five for loss, recorded a sack and broke up two passes. Pro Football Focus slotted Hudson 51st overall at the position, a mid-pack placement. Following Jameen Davis's season-ending injury, Hudson started the Commander's final five games, closing with a 3-TFL showing in Week 18. The Saints gave ageless starter Demario Davis another extension last month, and they also added four-year Chiefs starter Willie Gay. With Pete Werner going into a contract year, it would seem Hudson has a backup ceiling as a Saint barring injury. But his run of ST work stands to bolster New Orleans' third-phase options ahead of Dennis Allen's third season in charge. What would a Michael Thomas contract cost the Steelers? With new Pittsburgh Steelers offensive coordinator Arthur Smith coming on board to try and help the team's quarterback situation, they hope to see much better offensive play across the board, and that means that another weapon could help the entire offense out significantly. Pro football focus Brad Spielberger sees former Saints All-Pro wide receiver Michael Thomas as the ideal wide receiver for Smith's offense, and believes that Thomas could greatly help the team. Pittsburgh brought Allen Robinson aboard to serve as the big slot possession receiver in 2023, and while his lack of production was not entirely his own doing, perhaps the Steelers take another swing with Thomas coming in as the number three alongside Deontay Johnson and George Pickens, Spielberger wrote. Moving Johnson and Pickens into the slot more to help create more separation on outbreakers like corner routes, an area Pickens excelled in 2023, adds more versatility to the whole unit. And Spielberger now projected the type of contract that Thomas would command, stating that Thomas would likely cost $6 million with a one-year prove-it deal. Thomas could come far cheaper than a player of his caliber normally would come given his injury history. He missed a lot of time with an ankle injury and has yet to regain his form as a top NFL wide receiver at this stage in his NFL career. But what Thomas can do is out there and known to the Steelers and other teams. Still, it's unlikely he will command a ton of money to land him on the perfect team for his resurgence. Regardless of Thomas's market, the Steelers could be an interesting fit for such a talent after the team missed just one recorder on the slot. If they add Thomas to the receiving core to join George Pickens, they could help stabilize the group by adding Thomas and a draft pick. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Michael Thomas? Leave your opinion in the comments.